A very good morning to you. It's Monday and I'm just starting this video where I finished abruptly yesterday because of course the battery. You know the story of the battery. So this is the old ruin further up the hill behind the cottage of the original dwelling place of the people who lived on this land many, many years ago. So you can see um, the west gable wall is still intact, a little part of the front. Um, I think that's probably all I can get into focus. You can see part of the doorway there. Now I hope to be able to um, walk up the hill at some point soon, I can't promise you when, and um, make a little video up there and then you'll be able to see Bealtaine Cottage from above because of course it's all um, north facing hill. So you can see just coming back down over the, over the fields. and on to the land here, which of course looks quite different. Lots of leaves, lots of trees. So I was um, thinking to myself about um, what I wanted to talk about in this video today because it's Monday, it's the beginning of the week and there's always a sort of a, um, a feeling of like a new beginning, a start at the beginning of each week. Well, it is for me in a way. And I was looking through just some of the very recent emails that I got. Now, I do read your emails. I don't have time to respond to them, but I do read them. Uh, not all of them come through, of course. Uh, quite a few get, get stuck in, in, in junk mail and, and stuff like that. Um, usually the, the emails that do come through are those from people who have perhaps um, had previous correspondence with me um, or purchased a book or a map or something like that, but something that um, the email box recognises, you know recognises the name. So I'm going to read a little email. I'm going to start with this one. Now I've got my little phone with me. So oh there's Jack saying never mind the emails. Look at me mum. <laughs> He's having a bit of a, a run around. So to the one or two people who only watch these videos in order to see Jack um, there you go. Have your fill of delight on a Monday morning. So I'll just open up my little... <laughs> I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to keep the camera on Jack whilst um, scrolling through an e my email. Okay, here we go. So this one here, which I think is where we're going to start going to start the theme for this video. I think it's quite important because you see, <clears throat> you know I talk a lot about energy and how um, I'm kind of driven by the energetic forces <laughs> here at Bealtaine. <laughs> so is Jack by the looks of it, um, although he's closer to the earth so he's kind of tapped into that more excitable partying aspect of Mother Earth who on a Monday morning says, let the weekend continue. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so I got this one from um, Diane, Diane Bartlett. Dear Colette, a few months back on one of your YouTube vlogs, I seem to remember a passing statement of yours about a change, in brackets, next step, 
for Bealtaine. I don't remember you being specific as to what that would be. Perhaps it was in regard to the addition of Woodland Sanctuary to your focus on carrying on, on caring for the land. I have been trying to locate that particular vlog without success. I would love to have you share your vision for the future of Bealtaine. I have been following you on YouTube, your website and previously on Facebook for several years and of course through your books. You have been a profound influence on the direction of my life. Thank you. My best to you and Jack and the birds you give sanctuary to. Diane Bartlett. So, <clears throat> that was a very interesting email to read and thank you Diane for that. Um, and of course your, your email has come through to my inbox because you've had previous correspondence with me regarding purchasing books. Um, when I put that vlog up about the future of Bealtaine and where where I felt it was going to go. Of course, I, I didn't have a clue about where it was going to go because, as I said previously, much of what happens here at Bealtaine is very much led by and directed by the energy at work here. So, <clears throat> I'm going to come on to one of the many other emails which I think will give you an idea of what okay of what um, what direction Bealton is going in because you see I'm not leading it um, in the early days I, I worked extremely hard to help Mother Earth and, and get back this health and this vibrancy and this life and this joy to the land. And um, the Elton Cottage went in, in various directions. I mean, continually changing direction in terms of um, what I did on the land, because initially, of course, I had to, you know, um, produce a lot in order to make a living. And now, of course, um, I make a small living from my books and, and, you know, the map and calendar and stuff that I've printed through the Bealton Cottage Press. But um, this is the direction which it's now taken. So I'm going to just read this. So this is from Jamie Kelly. Um, Jamie... Uh, purchased a book and then and then sent me this little email because he wants me to inscribe the book but the email is very interesting and thank you Jamie for sending it to me um, deepest sympathy and heartfelt prayers for your loss of precious Sammy Bear I'm so sorry I lost my precious Anam Cara Anam Cara by the way is Irish for soul friend Anam Cara a Westy named Charlie a couple of years ago this time same time this year and was devastated. Some words that brought me comfort are memory is the yesterday that gives us courage for tomorrow. That's a lovely one Jamie. And the heart remembers most what it has loved best. That's very true. I wanted to share that with you for what it's worth and agree with you when you say grief can be private. So now I want to get to the direction that Bealtaine Cottage is being guided into. I continue to watch you nearly religiously and not only do I find your YouTube videos meditative and, relax and relaxing but I am remembering my old soul self prior to falling asleep in the world of Western work, stress and zombie stupidity. I've had to do what I've had to do, but I'm getting increasingly tired of this life. 
You inspire me to follow my heart and connect with Mother Earth to find a different path. Thank you. So, many, many people, it appears, are coming to be out in the cottage for a little bit of soul sanctuary and um, not just soul sanctuary but peace, meditation and it seems that it's not just um, it's not just for those reasons but it's just um, to be able to find um, somewhere where they can be still and it's very much how I feel, how I feel about living here now. It's a place where I can be still and I can listen. And you can hear all the birds. So, the death of Sammy Bear, um, brought me to another crossroads and and this seems to have been this seems to have been the path all the way through the past 14 years something happens good or bad happy or sad and I'm at a crossroads and at this particular crossroads I just felt we're coming into winter it's time to help the birds because of course um, the trees are planted, everything's in place, this is a woodland sanctuary so it just seemed the most natural thing in the world to help the life that was coming more and more to this woodland sanctuary. And so now, during these short days of winter, the Elton Cottage Woodland Sanctuary is filled with birdsong. Well, a little bit of birdsong this morning for no apparent reason, but the sound of birds. So yeah, we'll call it birdsong. But of course we know that the birdsong of spring is, is vibrant and tuneful. The direction that Beelton Cottage is taking, and nothing is carved in stone with Beelton Cottage because it's evolving all the time. There is such a fast evolution going on here. Sometimes it's difficult to keep up with it. But the evolution that's going on here has brought me to this point where this is now a woodland sanctuary. It's now filled with birds and the sound of birds. It's also filled with mammals and I'll show you something in a few moments regarding that which I just discovered this morning. I had suspicions off but I've sort of nailed it this morning. And it's now a place for you to find solace to find inspiration and I'm only using the words that you have used in emails and comments to me. To find comfort, companionship of like-minded people, hope. Now there is a word that so few people agree with. They say, oh, there is no hope. 
Well, I say hope with a capital H. To reconnect with Mother Earth. One of the ways. Sort of soul food, isn't it? So this morning, at about quarter to seven, it was still dark, and I put the light on in the little barn to go out and gather some kindling just to bring the stove back up. There was a few embers in the stove. And Jack came out with me and immediately he ran round the front of the cottage and started barking. Now you can see just where he's standing. That's where he ran to. In fact, he's going back in there for a little sniff around. Now, I've examined this little spot just behind this little angel. There's the little head of Mary and it's a little bit defaced. I just I, I dug that out of the out of the ground here years ago. So that's just there beside the little angel. Now look in behind. See that spot? If I pull the camera out you can see. That's where a little animal sits on a regular basis. It's a very dry spot, you see, because it's just under this evergreen tree that I planted and under the fuchsia. And it's just on the brow of the hill. It's a little safe spot because there's lots of trees and, and bushes and shrubs in behind it. So the little creature that sits in there, which I believe is a fox, sits in there at night. You can just see, I'm just going to put the camera down and face it out in the same direction as the fox would be looking. See? That little fox is in a prime position at night. to be able to see any little mice or for that matter rats because we talked a little bit yesterday about rats that come out onto this driveway to eat up any of the bird food. This is what I'm thinking is happening. So he sits in there and you can just see there's a little bit of a pathway coming out as well. And just imagine him running out here and grabbing hold of whatever food he can. Jack! Come on. So, that's my little my little Monday morning thoughts about Beelton the Cottage and the direction. Um, the direction has been chosen for me. And I think I've said this um, time and time again on, on videos and on blogs and on various social media platforms that Beelton the Cottage has an energy that I only feel at times I'm a sort of a conductor of or a caretaker of, either or. But I'm beginning to feel smaller and smaller in the whole, um, you know, 
in, in the bigger picture, and the picture is getting bigger and bigger here. Bigger and bigger. And more beautiful. More beautiful. And even here at the end of November, absolutely filled with colour. be interesting to read your comments under this video. Because I always regard them as, as a sort of um, a sort of a feedback loop, you know. Jess, it would appear that so many people are coming here for for sanctuary and I felt it had evolved into a woodland sanctuary but it's a little bit like a soul sanctuary as well now interesting to read your thoughts on this Blessings to you all on this Monday morning and have a wonderful week everyone. Blessings.